Just imagine a castle on a hill with a moat around it. Not like skyscrapers, but like nice curvy towers and beautiful scenery around it. A little village maybe off to the side with some boats. Yeah, I could see it. Can you? What's up everybody on YouTube? How's everybody doing? I'm doing just fine. Doing awesome actually. Welcome back to another episode or to another part of... <laughs> I forgot what it was called again. The Minecraft building uh, castle let's build. Yeah, that's what it is. I always forget what it's called. It's pretty obvious to what it's called, but I just always forget. So today we're actually going to be building a castle today. Enough of this forming, enough of just messing around. Let's get to the actual building of how I build these castles. And this isn't going to go into too much detail of how you build a castle like me. Um, or like in general. You're just going to have to follow along, pause the video, see how I place blocks. That's how this is going to be. This is going to be more on the Let's Build side than the other videos where it's like a tutorial. Okay, so this video I will give some tips, as I said in the beginning of the series, but it's not going to be, you know, an in-depth tutorial on how to build a castle. This is a Let's Build. So we're just going to be building together. You guys can watch me and see how I build. So now that I got my height, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go one block up from the form and make that... I like a marker, so to say. You can also just take this down here, which I'm actually going to do it this way. So I'm going to leave uh, this up here, this little square here, and just take down these side beams here. That's what I'm going to do. There we go. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Today we're going to be working on the entrance of the castle because I feel like that is a good start. So when you're building it, building something is doing the entrance first. So I'm going to work on one of the towers. I'm going to pause the video and then I'm going to work on this tower off camera because it'll be the same thing as this tower, obviously. And then we're going to do this middle section together. So we'll do this tower together and this middle section together, but I'm going to build this because it'll be the same as this. Um, build that off camera, I mean. So this is, is, this is our height. Um, we got our still markers down here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this with stone brick. There we go, and you can see that it's turning into a circle now. Those little circles we talked about, yep, there it is. That's just marking our height up here, so don't even bother building a roof yet on top of this. This is just a height marker, just so we don't go over the height. Next, I'm going to go up here. I'm going to place two stone bricks in e on either corners, like that. And then also start doing this a little bit, adding some steps in. And I think this is going to look really cool because what I'm trying to do here is go for more of a would it look um, to this castle. Uh, because I'm going to be using the color green as the mandatory color for the castle. So I'm going to use that as kind of like a, you know, a nice little reference to the style of this building. And we'll get into style in the next episode. Maybe in this episode... This episode's more about design and the entrance, so we'll have to see how far we come. So I'm going to go like this, yep, and we can go like this as well. Kind of make like this nice little um, arch effect on the uh, corners of the build, makes it look nice, perfect, and Something like that, maybe. It would look really cool. And this co this tower will just be copied uh, for that tower and that tower over there. And I'll do that um, the, that tower when we do the back um, of the castle uh, later on in the series. So I'm going to do something like this. Now, it's all about just how you kind of place blocks, really. It's not really... There's really no, like, mandatory way of doing it. Uh... I like to um, keep my towers kind of circular and keep them with like this 
uh, square here um, and then the circle down here is where I like to really just like make it go wild and try to make as much as I can make. You already see we're starting to get to the top here so we want to be a little careful about how we're doing this. Um, so right now I'm going to start by I'm going to start by taking these up here and trust me this will look a lot better once we will once we get to actually doing this there we go and as you can see we're starting to come along with the shape here this tower only took me like two seconds to do and because of how um, how much um, you know like we don't really have to do to it <laughs> as you can see we got shaders here I showed that off in Blunts' Minecraft let's play oh god what is that drinking my coffee because freaking trash trucks are going down the street there's nothing I can all right guys sorry about that uh, <laughs> a trash truck just came down the street and took forever to pass my house like holy crap so it must have took like 15 minutes um, for them to like really get all the trash cans um, there must be a lot of trash cans or something I just had a rant oh my god it was it was bad it was bad I'm like oh my god I'm recording <laughs> but uh, yeah so they don't care um, Anyway, so we're going to get back to building here, and I did do some things, a little things, while we were, while we cut there. And as you can see here, I put some cobblestone, um, like, little breakups in the stone brick. That's what I use cobblestone for. Uh, cobblestone is basically a breakup, and you use it where there is just too much stone brick, and you need something to just, you know, get in there and break up. Like, here might be a little bit too much stone brick, so I could put, like, a cobblestone wall there could grab like a little stair and put that there and that actually looks okay to me um, I'm realizing that shaders make everything look too good and um, it just makes it look too good I'm finding flaws in my builds as I'm building here so uh, but everything seems to look good right now so all right I need uh, some slabs oh yeah and we could just go over here I might move this over a little bit so it's not so far away but yeah we have the right proper tools over here so if we need them we just go over here and pick them up and I'll place that there like that perfect and that'll go like that perfect this is looking good and the roof will obviously sit on top of this uh, this little that little part there uh, we could do crenellations and battlements on the top here which would actually look pretty cool on this tower I'm not gonna lie um, and we, we would just have to fill this part in like something like that we would have to fill that in uh, because there wouldn't be a window there because it wouldn't it wouldn't make sense because you just come up here it's the same kind of level so it's like whatever um, all right so let's do the roof and we're gonna cut and I'm gonna go to uh, do this tower and then we're gonna do um, the middle part here it's gonna be the same as this tower as I said so what I'm gonna do here is just gonna kind of do the same circle shape. Then I'm gonna line that around um, with uh, slabs going around like this. And I think that looks okay. I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to go back and tweak this a little bit. But that's the basic idea of how to like build a basic entrance to a castle, uh, like a tower um, to a, to the you know to the place gonna add like little some little stuff around here I don't really have to add that there but I am just so it matches and yeah that looks pretty good so I'm gonna build this tower and then I'll meet back with you guys in just a minute all right welcome back guys so here we have the two towers now we just gotta really just build the entrance part to the castle you know like the gate thing that we walk under when you enter a castle um, that's really what we got to do. So, let's try doing that. So, I want to kind of make it like this height, right? This is the height we want. Yep. So, this will be the door here for the wall. So, that's what we're going to try to achieve there. Something like this. Um, it has to go in one. I know I said it was going to be like this last time. 
but it has to go in one because this tower kind of shortened itself by taking off this corner here okay and making like a circular kind of tower so now we gotta bring that back as well so let's make let's first make our little pathway here into the castle I feel like this is probably the easiest part and we're gonna do that and ooh, there's some tricky stuff going on in here I don't think we can get rid of these uh, can we uh, I don't think we can so we have the floor on the castle has to be raised up like this to that level and this will just be like a little walkway like we walk into it, it steps up and it goes in here oh that looks actually what I whatever I did here looks pretty good so let's uh, do that we'll bring these kind of like corner bar bits in here and then we'll make just kind of a flat roof so it's just like this yeah nothing too fancy we don't want it to be like crazy you know fancy not too complicated and you just do that and that looks fun just the way it is and as you go out here you can kind of see who's coming into the castle now remember our path's going to be right here coming into the castle that's so it'll go down like that and we're going to modify this and all so um, and have, remember we'll have the motor going around it as well so let's see here what can we do as i said i like using uh where are those stone slabs uh where'd they go i know they're here yeah they are um I don't know what to get rid of. Pretty, pretty well. We already did that part. So, uh, so what I like to do is I like to use cobblestone and these for my crenellations because I just think that looks nicer because it breaks up the stone brick once again, uh, as it does on the tower. So we'll do the same thing on the wall. So something like this, no curvy features, just a straight, plain kind of crossover, uh, and they kind of make this kind of blend we're gonna make these little steps go back in at least that's what I'm gonna do you can do whatever you want for your castle and make them go like that and then one upside down one like so so there we go and then we just gotta kind of make this come down because our it's not gonna be that tall of a thing so we're gonna bring this all the way down block block down to that level so the entrance kind of starts here, because uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have like this little, um, this little point here where it shapes like that, and that's where, because that's what castles usually have is this, this like secondary archway, and it's pretty cool because that's you can kind of see the gate like in here, because that's where the gate would sit, and then you know this would be the entrance. So, yeah, pretty neat how that works out. And we're going to do this. Just so it's like a little archway. Um, what else do I do? There's something I want to do here, I feel. No, not that. Maybe this. Maybe not. No, definitely not that. I don't know. It takes a lot of figuring out with this. Upside down, maybe? Yeah, I think I liked the way it was before. No. Keep that the way it is. And we go down here and we add cobblestone. Yeah, that's what we need to do. Just to, again, it's gonna, if it looks weird, there's probably too much stone brick on it. And you probably just got to find that one spot where it's just got to be adjusted like this here. And this is probably not enough, so we'll do this make it more archy yep and probably even more archier here because why not mmm that's too too much so something like this we'll bring a block down and then we'll put the uh, then we'll put this in so something like that maybe yeah maybe that, maybe that looks pretty that looks better we'll add our little stone slabs there just to accompaniment the uh, crenellations because I think the crenellations are the little spots in between and then the battlements are the things that stick up so pretty neat 
And, uh, yeah. No, no, no. I think it was fine the way it was. All right. Usually the more you touch it, the more it's going to look worse. So try to put an equal balance to that so it doesn't look too, so it doesn't look terrible when you're doing it. All right. And we'll replace this. And we'll actually go through this whole tower and just take out the whole thing like that. Let me see how that looks up here. Yep, no changes. And we just make it like all stone brick going up. Oops. Cool. And what do we have to do here? We have to make this, right? What did I do over here? Same thing. Okay. And that looks good. Yeah, it looks fun. I like that. That's that's a cool entrance. Um, maybe to break it up a little bit, we put cobblestone here. Maybe. Maybe that'll look good. Yeah. And since we use this wood as our roof, uh, what I'm going to need to do is put like a cobblestone here going at the top let's see how that looks yeah it looks fun and then I'm going to put uh, spruce because that was our secondary wood color at the top here kind of make it go past this little bit hang down to the second arch there maybe this is the third arch well one two so that's the that's the arch there and there we go pretty nifty. Now I want to get these steps out here. More steps you add, the more detail you can do because there's not enough you can do you can do as much detail as you want in Minecraft. Yeah, and I feel like that was that is a better decision than what we had before. Check the time here. All right, we're doing pretty good on time. And uh, yeah, that looks actually really good. Not going to lie to you. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, maybe two cobblestone blocks like that. Yep. So yeah, you can just see I'm just kind of nitpicking where uh, cobblestone could go, and I think that looks fine. I think we'll keep that just like that and just leave it. Because I think if we touch it anymore, it's gonna look. Not set, not as great. Yeah, I think that's a little better than what we had before. And we'll can I get rid of that? Yeah, I think you're in defense though. Perfect. And I think that is gonna do it. I think that looks okay as an entrance. I think that looks fine. Um, so the final thing that I would do is just add some flags. Uh, this is pretty simple. It's not too too hard. Uh, we're going to use green as our flags because that's what I want to want to do some different color than blue because I usually do blue all the time. These are how I build my flag post now that we have cobblestone walls. Cobblestone walls are amazing. Never forget that. And our flags are going to be blowing this way. Uh, let me see. I have a flag design that I'm forgetting now. Oh, here we go. I got it. Figured it out. There we go. I like this flag design because it, it's kind of cool. Makes it look like it's blowing back towards the castle and blowing in the wind. You can also make it go reversed like this. So it's just a little bit of randomization there. Um, something like that. If you want to do that, you don't have to. Uh, personally, I do like the symmetricness of just like having him blowing like that. Um, I think that looks fun. But yeah, there you go. There is uh, the castle so far. That's going to be the entrance. Remember, we're going to adjust all this uh, later uh, in a different episode. So don't you worry about that if you are, you know, building just the way I'm building. We're going to make like some, we're, as I said, we're going to modify the terrain so it comes up to this level here. And um, yeah, so it looks uh, nicer. It looks nicer. So. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. As always, don't forget to be awesome, and I will see you guys next time.
Bye-bye.